in 1974. Peter Zeller came to me and said, oh, we have to make a very beautiful new person. It will be the Merchant of Venice. I really love this play and it is very good here for the Germans and my German audience. I think this uh, Jew, Shylock. We had a marvelous actor for Shylock, a beautiful, old, lovely actor, very intense, very also with this special irony and a good humor. And he said, you have to make his costume. It must be stinky and filthy and dirty and ugly and smelly. Please do me that. Can you do? Yes, of course. Okay. The flies must fly after him when he's on stage. Well, I went into the tailor's workshop. They handed me out this coat. It was made of a fabric for things cleaning the floor, you know. In German we call it Scheuerlappen. It was a very, very cheap ugly, rough, thick, thick material. Well, I took it down, I went into the, into the garage of the theater and put all kinds of dirt on it, machine oil and soup and whatever I found and filthy and stinky things. And the tailors were really outrageous how I treated their work. But Peter loved it and he said, that's what I want. He, Shiloh, must be a stinky, filthy, ugly Jew. And the Germans want to see them. Well, he was preparing the whole thing, watching old Nazi films. For example, this very famous one, Jud Süß. It is written from a classical German author during the time of Romanticism, because anti-Semitism is a long story in Germany. Well, it was forbidden to project the film in Germany, but Peter got the permit the permission to see it in private. Nobody else was admitted. Now, in Bochum was a very, a rather strong neo-Nazi community. They kind of noticed that there was something going on. And they always kind of threatened us we made publicity outside of the theater and they painted their swastikas over them. Hannelore Hoover was very good. She caught one, asked him what he was doing, then he slapped him in the face. She was really brave. Anyways, the situation got tense and tenser. And some days we got a bomb threat in the theater. Peter broke off his, his uh, ensayos and he was very afraid and he came to me and said, I have to hide. Can I go to your place and hide? And he said, but Peter, why do you want to hide? We have to call the police, search the theater, look if there is any bomb or not. And if there isn't any, and I swear there will be no bomb, then we can continue with our work. 
Well, so we did. And nothing else happened, never. And there was no bomb. But, you know, as a result of our of our work and the interpretation of Shylock, suddenly the people from the theater, the workers, the technicians, started to grumble in the background and they some wrote with chalk on these black walls of the stage, Juden raus, Jewish out. Okay.